good morning dear students hope you all are fine there are different kinds of people in the world some people spend their life with utmost hard work meaning and purpose whereas few people do work just for enjoyment without any purpose based on these two categories today i am going to narrate a short story of lesson number 1 from 10th standard english reader are you all ready well the topic is a wrong man in worker's paradise this is a short story written by rabindranath tagore the greatest indo anglian writer the story is about a place that is a worker's paradise where all the people work tirelessly on some useful purposeful work and how a man that is a wrong man makes them realize that one can also do something just for enjoyment which may have no purpose well before i proceed the summary i would like to uh, highlight the characters the main characters of this short story the first character is an idler or an artist the next is the girl of the silent torrent next we have an aerial messenger whose duty is uh, to pick up a dead person from the world and based on the nature of that uh, dead person a lot uh, a lot a place in the specific paradise well let us understand the general new words torrent which is going to repeat throughout the lesson the meaning of torrent is river or stream the next is pitcher p i t c h e r pitcher a pot used to carry water next we have an idler idler meaning a lazy person well hope you have understood the meanings the characters thoroughly let us proceed like uh, in life along with useful things a person also does something which only gives pleasure such was the case of an artist or a wrong man whose work was considered useless by others when he was alive in the world on earth he day was doing only sculpting or painting he was feeling very happy he was enjoying whatever he was doing but others feel that um it was useless one day he dies then our uh, dear aerial messenger picks him and by mistake drops him in the worker's paradise in the worker's paradise the uh, man feels himself a total misfit because in the, uh, the rule of the worker's paradise as i told you before it is a place where all the people have to continuously work do some meaningful work or purposeful work but this man doesn't know he has not done a single meaningful work uh, um, when he was alive now he was just uh, felt bored here also he observed that people on uh, as on earth um people were busy in doing activities which uh, with a uh, lot of per- which can t- which has purpose or meaning so the man moves here and there and then finds a torrent beautiful torrent he says so let me settle down here i feel very happy here so he starts spending much of his time next to the torrent and observes that every day one girl comes over there to draw water from it i mean from the torrent she the girl was he observed that the girl was walking way with a lot of hurrying feet she was not wasting time in dressing or looking at others at all her what she was only focusing only on on the on her job that is to draw water at the same time the girl also felt pity and sorry for the man big, uh, for wasting the time in the worker's paradise so one day out of pity she asked him would you like to shall i allot you some work the man gets uh, excited the man says yes uh, girl i was waiting to take some work from your hand 
Then she says, what are your interests? Let me know your interest so that I can allot you some work based on your interest. The man says, uh, I just want one of your picture. The girl thinks even he would like to draw water from the torrent. Then he say, the wrong man says, no, I am not going to do that. Instead, I am going to draw some pictures on your picture. The girl really gets annoyed and she just uh, refused and walks back. Since then, whenever she comes to the torrent, the wrong man, the idler, keep, uh, continuously keeps on asking the same thing to give her picture. One day, she just uh, agrees to give and uh, agrees to give. The idler started painting on it. After he finished, he just returned the picture to the girl. The girl could not understand the purpose of it. And, and at home, she spent a lot of time gazing at it continuously. As for the first time, she had seen something without any purpose. The next day, she went again to fill the pictures. But now she felt uh, she left in a hurry. She was, her feet became, her hurrying feet became less hurried now. Why? Can anybody say? Yes. It is because she could not sleep the previous night. She lit the lamp and she was gazing at it and she was, had taken her uh, time. She had wasted her time in gazing and understanding the pictures, pictures drawn on the, and her picture. And she started finding that something, some new feeling in her. That something can, it is possible that uh, something we ca can be without any purpose. So, she started to interest in the meaningless things now. So, her feet became less hurried. The next day, the um, idler asked, I would like to um, make uh, colorful ribbons for you. She won't say anything, but he makes. After seeing the colored ribbons, she started, the next day she started combing her hair nicely for the first time and uh, tying the colorful ribbons in her hair, thus wasting lot of time. A lot of work was left unfinished for the first time in the worker's paradise because after seeing her, even other people who were very much busy in their work started taking slowly interest in all these useless things. So, much of the work was unfinished. The elders in the workers paradise became worried, anxious and then they called for a meeting. Everyone gathered, even an Aryan messenger was invited. Then. And they, in, in front of the aerial messengers, the elders spoke that after the entrance of this uh, wrong man in our workers' paradise, a new change has happened and much of the work is pending now, which is not at all the rule of the workers' paradise. Then the aerial messenger confessed that he had made a mistake by bringing the wrong man into workers' paradise. The man was summoned and asked to leave. The man felt relieved, really he was very much relieved, but as he was about to walk out, there, is, there was a strange thing happened. The girl of a silent torrent also walked out. This left the elders shocked and you know, some people started feeling that meaningless things uh, has taken place in the workers paradise, which never had taken before. So, this much is uh, the lesson students, hope you have understood. If you are really understood, I would like to assign some questions for you which are continuously, repeatedly uh, asked in the public exam previously. Well, the first question is, why did the girl of a silent torrent feel, feel sorry for the man? Next, the elders of the workers' paradise became worried. Why? 
Third, what does hurrying feet suggest? Why did they become less hurried? I request uh, all the students, in standard students, to please write down the answers and practice because these questions are very much important. Thank you. See you next time. Bye-bye.